<clears throat> Sorry, I'd uh, like to make a simple analogy for you that is 100% uh, perfect. And a lot of people have asked me to make this video. I don't think many people would like this, but if you pay attention for just a few minutes, I'll make this brief. And uh, I think you'll like it. That is, if you are a curious sort of person that is actually interested in understanding or learning something. As a ham radio operator and studying a field theory very, very intensely, a la James Clerk Maxwell, Oliver Heaviside, Nikola Tesla, um, Faraday, um, Steinmetz, and the rest, I wanted to tell you something as far as how you can understand your camera better. Okay? Here's a fact, and uh, this is something you'll never read in any photography book or in any photography magazine. Nowhere. Except right here. And let's take a look at it for a second, okay? Doesn't matter if it's a mirrorless, doesn't matter if it's a regular DSLR. You know what the difference between a radio and a camera is? Not a damn thing. Well, sure there is. There's tons of difference. That's for listening to Madonna, and this is for capturing pictures. You know what both of these are? Both of these are devices for receiving EMR, electromagnetic radiation. Technically, it is a coaxial circuit, just like a coax cable. Uh, this is for receiving radio signals. This is receiving. You know what the difference between those two is? Uh, uh, light and radio? Nothing. It's that human beings can see this type of light, and uh, we can't see this sort of light. They're both EMR, okay? There's another thing. You see this interchangeable lens on the front of this camera? Okay. I'm going to help you. I promise you, if you bear with me for three minutes, I'll help you understand a camera so much better. The lens in the front of this camera, I can buy a bigger lens, it'll be faster, means it has more gain, okay? That is a native gain that is interchangeable. I mean, it's upgradable. Obviously, take your lens off, you can put a big old fat, expensive lens on there. Same thing, this is a very simple radio, by the way. Um, same thing with professional amateur radio, which this is not, but it's the same principle. This cheesy little antenna here is kind of like a slow-ass lens. doesn't have very good gain. It's good enough for kind of most stuff. It'll receive really strong signals from the other side of the Earth since it's a shortwave also. But, I can plug in an external antenna that's a lot damn bigger. Better gain, just like a fatter lens. Okay, interchangeable native gain. Okay, here's another thing. The sensor inside this. Obviously the same thing inside here, that's the processing. The actual signal processors. Photosites. The larger photosites over a given period of T, time, have better gain. They have better micro contrast, even though the uh, signal to noise ratio firmware. By the way, there's SNR firmware in advanced um, amateur radio like I have, like Yesu and ICOM, which are, uh, let's say, uh, uh, HF 2 meter 440 um, mobile transceiver. It has signal to noise ratio processing firmware in it, the same thing that this camera and all other DSLRs have. They process out the noise because noise has set frequencies. Okay. Understand the difference between native gain and applied gain. You know, professional radios, they have a little knob on the side that says gain. You know, a, a regular crappy radio just has a volume knob. Okay, turn up the volume. We all know that, right? Okay, well, what about gain? Gain is the applied gain from the signal received. It would be a signal amplifier. That is exactly, exactly, no difference at all between what the hell ISO is. ISO is not exposure, irrefutable fact. ISO is not sensitivity. ISO is not sensitivity, nor is it exposure. It is applied gain at, technically after, the sensor. Applied gain. It is not sensitivity, it is not exposure. You know, you could shoot four stops under, and dial up the gain in post-production in Lightroom. Same thing with a professional amateur radio. There's a gain knob on the side, and there's a volume knob. What's the difference between a gain knob and a volume knob? Keeping things really signal uh, simple. This is amplifying the signal received and a volume knob is turning up the amplification. So signal received, amplifying the signal received, and then turning up. This would be like the brightness knob, and this, of course, is the gain, or ISO. 
Okay, brightness in post. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the brightness. What? I'm gonna turn up the gain. It's like turning up the ISO on your camera. If you understand the different types of gain that are in your camera, okay, and another sort of specific gain that is in every camera is a shutter. Uh, a shutter is a mechanism which gives increased native gain over a period of t time. James Clerk Maxwell, these are simplex field equations. Uh, effects over a given period of t, a vector over a given period of time. Shutter speed. ISO is not exposure. I know you've heard of the exposure triangle and ISO is part of that, but ISO is not, it's not my opinion. ISO is not exposure. It is not sensitivity because you can actually dial up the ISO in post. Okay, you can do that, of course. That's an irrefutable fact. Native gain. Lens. Bigger lens, better native gain. It's like having a bigger ass antenna instead of this cheesy little nothing right here, right? I'm going to stick a big professional antenna on this, have better native gain. That's why someone would want a faster lens. Over the same period of time, it gathers more light. Duh, we know that, right? Same period of time, this has better signal amplification. I stick a big ass antenna on it for receiving signals from like Radio Moscow or, you know, who knows, Radio uh, Havana, whatever you want to listen to in shortwave. If you understand how a radio works and understand native gain, applied gain, okay, and there's another native gain, which is your sensor. Of course, once the camera is made, that's it. You know, you know, it's not going anywhere. You're not going to improve that. The native gain of the sensor is what it is. Same thing with the radio. Once the radio is made, the uh, signal processing, the actual gain, the native gain of the radio i.e. how well it's built and its uh, filters, its native filters. However, professional radios actually have interchangeable sensors or ch interchangeable filters. You can actually go in there and swap out the filters, but that's for a radio, not for a camera. You can't swap out your sensor on your camera. It's tied in too tight to everything else. But there's absolutely no difference between any camera, DSLR, mirrorless, doesn't matter, and a radio. They are both receivers for the coaxial electromagnetic emissions would it be visible light or radio they're both the same thing one's visible one ain't by the way basically every DSLR sees a lot of light that you don't see and some of them have filters in front of them it's seeing in infrared and in ultraviolet except they're pass filters in front of the sensor but you know you can screw on an infrared filter and do a long time exposure and then your camera will see what you ain't seeing. It'll see what bugs see, or certain animals see. It'll see into the uh, 720 nanometer spectrum of infrared, or 590 nanometer of infrared. But think about that, okay? Both of these are the same damn thing. They're devices for receiving EMR. Hardcore fact, irrefutable. If that helps you understand how the hell a camera works better, fine. Why am I the first and only person that is mentioning this fact? Is it that there are no photographers that are ham radio operators? Or is it there are no photographers that know a damn thing about field theory and optics? It might be a combination of the two. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, and drop me a buck or two. I hope you learned something. If not, then, uh, well, I don't know.